The behavior of a single attenuation node is pretty straightforward. You choose an attenuation shape, define an inner radius and fall off distance and it's done. When you enter the attenuation shape, you start listening to the sound at a low volume. But as you get closer to the sound source, the volume raises up. A more advanced use of the attenuation node is when many of them are nested. This technique is often used to reveal sound details over distance. And this is what we'll see in today's tutorial. We can start by creating a new sound cue. I have already done it and it's called attenuation node cue. Now select a ambient sound and attach your sound cue in the sound voice. Inside the detail panel of your ambient sound, make sure that your allow spatialization is set to true and your override attenuation to false because we don't want the attenuation of the ambient sound to override the individual attenuation made inside the sound cue. Now we can select the audio file we want to use and import them inside the sound cue. Make sure that each audio file is set to looping and connect each of them to an attenuation node. If you click inside the attenuation node, you'll see that you have only the override attenuation setting. So set it to true and do the same thing for the other attenuation nodes. By selecting multiple nodes, you can apply the same change to all of them. So let's reset this to false, select all the three attenuation nodes, and now you can see the common setting for all of three, which is override attenuation. And as you can see inside each of them, the override attenuation is set to true. The settings that are listed here are the same one you can find inside the detail panel of your ambient sound. So we have attenuation, volume, spatialization, occlusion, reverb, submix, focus, and all of them, error absorption, and so on. We can uh, select all three elements once again and define a common value for the inner radius. We can set it to, let's say, 300. Then for each one, we can set a fall off distance. Now, if we move in the viewport, you'll see the attenuation shape you have selected with the relative distance from the sound source. As you've probably heard, there were at least two things to fix. The first one is that the high hiss, when we are very close to the sound source, it's too loud. And there is no reason for it to be that loud. So we can apply a modulator and tweak its volume. Now, the second thing I'd like to uh, improve is that when we are really close to the sound source and we are facing a very loud sound source, like an engine in this, in this example, in real world we don't perceive such a great difference between the left and right ear. Inside the attenuation settings, we have a very handy um, parameter, which is non-spatialized radius. We can set it to a defined value and from that distance to zero, we'll hear the sound uh, as a stereo file playing at the same volume for both uh, left and right channel. In my case, I think that 400 is a good value. We can set it to uh, the remaining audio file and play the game once again.